Good morning cultists, welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu's. We are back in our Ballad of the Gothic Muslim campaign. Um, it is episode 2 and things are not looking great. France is apparently gaining an upper hand in our war against them for gas coin. Like, I don't know what happened. We were at 95% and then suddenly out of nowhere, we're getting our asses handed to us. Like, what the hell, Liege? What the hell? I'm about to lose these spots, man. That's unacceptable. You can't do that. Unless, of course, it's only for gas coin and it, we don't actually lose the thingamajig if we lose this war. I have no idea. I'm, I'm hoping that things go well for us. For our um, entire realm, not just us, but you know what I mean, right? Y you guys know what I'm talking about. All right. So let's get our spy ma- why is our spy master back home? I didn't want you back home, buddy. Get out of here. Oh well. I guess I don't blame him too much. Okay, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You there, hunter friend. You can be our marshal. Fantastic. I'm pretty sure the other guy's not gonna be happy about it. Actually, no, he doesn't really care one way or another. And we have been gifted a dog. Fantastic. Let's take it. And we're gonna name him Tricky this time. I always name my dog Hunter, but this time we're gonna name him Tricky. Just for shits and giggles. And is our army back in strength, kind of, maybe? We have another son, Theodoricho. Um, we are going to name you, hmm. We're going to name you, uh, Ashav. Fantastic. All right, let's get our troops back up and sieging down. Okay, no, let's just make sure that I'm not leading anything here because I don't want to die from disease or whatever nonsense. And my other wife is pregnant. Fantastic. Gonna end up having a lot of children as a Muslim character, I think. El Duara, who is the sister of Egilona. Is Egil Egilona still sickly? Okay. How long do they stay sickly for? I have no idea. Gotta make sure that I'm not... Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's happening here? Consumption? Unacceptable. Damn it, Spy Master! You had one job, man. I don't want to send my wife, that's... What if bad things happen to her? I'll just send this guy, who apparently really likes me. But his Spy Mastership is not as amazing, so... Oh well. A little trade off here and there, you know? Your dog is growing quickly and is no longer a little puppy. He runs fast and has a keen nose. He bites hard too, as several of your dog handers, handlers can testify. Dog handers? Dog handers are people who graft human hands onto dogs. Kind of like um, human centipede kind of business. But it's, it's good for the dog, because the dogs were born without paws, right? So they were given human hands that they can use to um, manipulate instruments and stuff. Recently, I've noticed the pitiful state of my wife, Emira Sibilla. Sibilia. She has the flu. Oh no. She has the sniffles. Whatever shall we do? Although, to her credit, the flu could be deadly back in the medieval times when um, there were no such thing as antibiotics and people's immune systems were constantly com compromised. Compromised by, um, uh, I don't know, by spies, maybe? Why do I keep wanting to name him Theodoricho? You know what? His name's, his name sounds too much like the Doritos. So how, how about that? There, we have a son named the Doritos. Congratulations, you're a moron. Wait, I'm a moron, I guess. Whatever, it's fine. Wait, are we sieging that thing down? Because that's got 15 people, dude. Come on. Just save yourself the embarrassment. 100%. Fantastic. Yes! It's all mine, except it's also being sieged by the French. So it's not all mine. $100 or 100 ducat donation to my liege? Did I do it? What would, is, what would this give? Oh, here come the French. Let's hide. Because, uh... We don't want the French doing weird things to us. Damn it, French! 
Get out of here, man. Get out. Get. Get out of here. That's what I thought. Damn French. If I have any French viewers, I, I don't mean to insult you specifically. I'm talking about your forefathers who keep trying to take my shit away from me. Don't take my shit. French. Oh, get, get out of here. What the hell, man? Dude. Go. Go away. I don't want your business here, France. Okay? That's enough. You're making me scroll my screen like crazy. And I don't want to be your commander either, buddy. Like, that's... That just seems like a death sentence. You love me, though. So that's awesome. Can you take care of the French that are in my lands, please? They're being jerks. They're, like, smoking cigarettes and... Eating baguettes and shit and leaving crumbs all over the place. That's unacceptable. I can't have this. Guys, we lost the war. What the shit? Well, my odds, I thought you were super powerful. You, like, you always end up taking um, all of uh, Hispania and the rest of everything. What happened there? Okay, great. So we didn't lose any land. Or at least my liege didn't lose any land. And we'd be breaking a truce with him, so maybe not. Okay, you. You look like you don't have much land. Let's take over your shit. Now, who's this in your lands? Are these raiders? I think they're raiders. Yeah. Well, not for much longer. I mean, they're still gonna stay raiders. It's not like I'm gonna change the fact that they're raiding the lands, but I'm trying to say that they're not gonna stay there for much longer. Once they get driven out by, yes. And then we'll swoop in and start sieging. Because we're just that kind of opportunistic Son of a bitch. Just look at my face. Just look at my face and tell me that's not the face of an opportunist. If you said that does not look like the face of an opportunist, you are, in fact, very incorrect. You want to be my first wife? No. Uh, maybe I could have made my marshal? Actually, she is my marshal wife. So, no. Apparently, she has completely memorized the Quran. I believe the Quran is extremely thick and uh, super long, if I'm not mistaken. Uraka? Uraka? Sure, you can stay as Uraka. And uh, if you're new to the my channel, again, welcome. Um, I do tend to name my characters after not necessarily subscribers, but after commenters because I want to make sure that I'm not. You know, breaking anyone's like sense of privacy or desire for privacy by naming characters after them, unless they've subs uh, commented. I mean, if you've commented, then you've basically made it known that, hey, you're public, or at least kind of. At which point, I will name char a character after you, possibly, possibly name a character after you. But if you do want a character named after yourself or anything, or more so yourself, uh, please let me know. And I would be happy to uh, name a character, or, or potentially an heir after you. The glance was intentional. Lo the glance was intentional? Lavicious? Lavicious? What? Do you mean the glance was intentionally lavicious? Las lascivious. Lascivious? It was intentionally lascivious, and the woman did not hide her appreciation, nor hide her lustful thoughts and invited me to join her. Who the fuck wrote this? The guy who wrote Fifty Shades of Grey? The fuck was that nonsense? I didn't understand any of it. And I consider myself to be pretty fluent in English too. Alright, let's, let's help out with this siege here. This is taking a little too long. Calatrava had apparently embraced Sunni Islam. Congratulations. You guys suck less now, I guess? I don't know. Where the hell is Calatrava? I don't even know where Calatrava is. Why am I being bothered about the people of Calatrava embracing Sunni Islam? You want someone else to educate Jez. Are you fucking insane? Are you nuts? Please. That's not a rhetorical question. I want you to answer me. Are you nuts? You are getting tired of serving Sultan... Abd al-Rahman II 
but he is very powerful. Perhaps it is time to seek foreign allies. The Franks to the north are growing ever more powerful and surely have no love for the Umayyads. You could promise them your fealty in exchange for assistance. You needn't keep your promise once they have helped you. Well, well, well. Mmm. How would this help me exactly? I don't want to gain content. So let's just let's let's try it. Let's send a messenger. See what they say. I'm hoping it's not gonna result in anything because I kinda like the Umayyads. I mean he did lose the war and thus lose me a whole bunch of my lands, which kinda sucked. Okay, for technology, let's go with um, military organization. Because I'd like to get a retinue going as soon as humanly possible. Retinues are amazing. Your emissaries have returned from Francia with good news. King Carl of West Francia has accepted your offer and pledged to help you in your rebellion against your Umayyad overlords. Um... Don't take this the wrong way, buddy, but I've got like a side thing going on with someone else. It's not that I don't love you, babe. It's just... Uh, I need something more in my life. You know what they say, right? Is that what they say? I have no idea. Can I revoke your shit? No? Are you my vassal? Unacceptable. Can we plot to revoke that crap from him? No? Why the shit not? Come on, bro. Come on, don't do this to me, man. Come on. I conquested your ass. You're supposed to give that shit to me, asshole. You sack of shit. You unbelievable sack of shit. You know what? You can suck it. Later, I'll just rip a new one. Tear you a new asshole or something. And there's a holy war for Leon. Okay. That's cool. The shit do you guys want? Get out of here, army of Leon. Of course, unless you are led by... Leon himself, the uh, main character from the movie The Professional, in which case you are a French assassin who has taken a young Natalie Portman under his wing. Egg Leona, you have mastered the egg, so I will get you to be uh, thrifty something, I don't know. The whole egg bit had nothing to do with anything. Oh shit! Um, I didn't intend for that. That was not my... Not my intention. Jez says his favorite toy is missing and he won't go to bed without it. I may have thrown it out today when I was tidying up. Uh... Let's... Go and find it for him. And apparently he became fussy because it stinks. Fair enough. The time is now. Yusufid's army will sally forth to depose the Umayyads, and the might of the Franks will stand behind you. Oh god. Oh. Oh, please, no. Please, no. No. What have I done? France? France? Are you coming to help? What's... Oh, please, no. No, I, I, I don't want this. I don't... I don't want this. Uh, can I surrender? And all the while this is happening, I am of course hunting for something. Uh, let's surrender. I don't want this. That was, oh god, now we're in prison. Great. Fantastic. Well, that went well. That was just the best, of course. Shit. Uh, I didn't mean to rebel against you. Can you please let me go? Please, sir? I've done nothing against you. Ransom. Well, I should have taken the option to be cowardly and just not ask for assistance or whatever that nonsense was. That was very unfortunate. If this ever happens to you guys, do watch out. It seems like you're forced to um, wage a war for independence. Or Dona. Apparently, this time I've decided to not name him the Dorito. And apparently, Ordona is sick. Oh shit, I forgot to name Ordona after someone. My bad. Shit. 
Well, he still likes me at least. Except for the fact that I declared war against him. But thankfully my uh, counselor is doing the bang up job of... Okay, great. Now Ordona is no longer sick. But my counselor is doing a bang up job of uh, sucking up to this guy. Maybe... He's actually... Sucking up to him. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Say no more. Say no more. Sir? If I declare war upon you, how much will you suck balls? I'm guessing you will suck balls pretty badly? Is my assumption? Can we arrange any kind of marriage here? Why do you have a blind doctor? Why do I bother asking these questions? How about I declare war for you, uh, for Vizcaya? And see how that turns out. This could go very, very poorly. In fact, it's most likely going to turn out very, very poorly. So, that's gonna be fun at least, right? Under pressure, the Sultan Rahman II has agreed to increase the power of the Majis. Uh, are the Majis the chancellors or counselors or whatever? I'm guessing. Let's attack these guys. Oh shit. Ma okay, no. Thankfully we won that. I accidentally uh, made them retreat. Which was unfortunate, but we still won, so... In the end, it all worked out. Fantastic. 19%? Can we... Hello? Oh god, not again. I fucking hate this bug. Ah, oh, you sack of fucking shit. Okay, so you guys, you guys can move, which is great. You guys can't move. You guys can move. Let's divide this even further. Like, I hate this. I hate this stupid bug. Like, what, what's up with this thing? Okay, so it's you guys that can't move. Got it. Disband, you stupid sacks of shit. My god. Guys. My god, Paradox. My god. What is with that? Uh, you don't like me, because you want to see it on the council, but you will- What the hell, dude? I said no seduction! Why are you all seducy? Unacceptable. Well, whatever, you're gonna be my commander, so you guys can suck that. Nice. Come on, follow them. Keep killing them! Keep killing them. You guys can do it. Come on, guys. Kill more. Holy shit. These are taking your sweet ass time here. I would hire mercenaries if you had the money, but unfortunately, I do not. Let's go with the siege leader. Because that's always fun, right? And I don't mean that in a facetious way either, so. We have another prisoner. Fantastic. I suppose we could ransom some of these prisoners and then... Marshall, uh, deal with this later. Because we kind of need you right now. We need you to replenish, not manpower, that's horse lord stuff. We need you to raise our retinue or something? The infidel dimmies in Navarra are now a minority, and most people have embraced Sunni Muslim. Or Islam. Right. Fantastic. Do we need to reduce them to nothing? Oh, okay. Guess I didn't really have a choice there. Because that was already made for me. Fantastic. You want to be my first wife? No. Because apparently you're really well educated. But beyond that, you got nothing. You got nothing! Wait, got... What? I thought for a second he was sieging down my lands. But who the hell is this? Oh shit, dude. Uh... I'm sure you're probably aware of this already, but that war is not going so well for you. It seems like you're going to get conquested. Which is really a shame. Alright, 57%. And my wife is pregnant. Fantastic. Making a lot of babies, which is lovely. And you have sucked up even more. Congratulations. Oh shit, we're... We're losing a fair bit of um troops here. In our siege, word has reached you that your court imam, uh, the Dorito, has given it to weakness and helped himself to pour 
to the alms he was meant to distribute amongst the poor. Return the gold. Yes, I will lose decadence. Wait, did I just gain decadence? Son of a bitch. I think I took the option to gain decadence. Motherfucker. That was not at all what I intended to do. I was actually meant to... I thought it said lose decadence, but apparently my reading skills are not at all top-notch, so... That's quite unfortunate. Hopefully we'll be able to lower the decadence in some way or shape or another sometime soon. I think I can do some intrigue events to lower that, if I'm not mistaken. Ramadan? I think Ramadan reduces decadence. Yes, it does. Fantastic. 77%? Come on, guys. It's a hustle. Show some more hustle, guys. 80%? That's not good enough. Eldonza. Congratulations, you're born. You get to enjoy life in um, the medieval world, which apparently really sucked. Well, for 99% of people, I think. Maybe the lords and ladies and whatnot enjoyed life, but... I'm pretty sure even the ladies had limited enjoyment of life, considering how um, little rights women had. I.e. none. 93%, fantastic. Ashav? You can be in struggle, because your whole life is going to be a struggle. As long as you live under my roof, your life is going to be a constant struggle, my friend. Eldura? Uh, can we make you more thrifty again? I don't know. Jez into hiding? What the shit, wifey poo? Stop your nonsense. Stop all these plots, please. Fantastic, 100%. Yes! My lords, we have finally gained our independence from the Umaya- Are you- What? Are you fucking kidding me? We have not gained independence from the Umayyads. The Frankish ruler who aided us expects- Will expect that you honor your pledge and swear fealty. No! The fuck? You guys did nothing! You guys left me to the wolves! And then I had to... Uh... Okay. Today at court, your hunting dog suddenly flew into a rage, tore loose, and attacked one of our courtiers. Em Emira... Argilo. Isn't that one of my wives? Argilo? Oh! That's our, I think, white, uh, first wife. Please don't die. Oh, good. She's pregnant. That's, uh... Would have been very unfortunate if she got wounded while pregnant. Or, I guess, in general, but still. What the hell? Oh, right, I need to look for my levy. I'm so used to playing as a horse lord. Unacceptable. How do we change this? Yes. Can I change it to religious, or I have to wait until... I have to wait 10 years. Damn it. Argilo, sure, you're named after my wife. Congratulations. You're named after your mother. This isn't going to be confusing at all. Uh, who became... Oh, you became Sun... Oh, man, you became Sunni? You asshole. I was going to... Take shit away from you for being not Sunni. But whatever. I guess he clued, in, clued into it or whatever. Let's actually get him killed if we can. Can we? Sir, would you like to die? Shit. How do we get you on our side, buddy? Moral qualms, really? Okay, well, I don't think there's gonna be any way of um, convincing him, which is kind of unfortunate. Let's try to repay the uh, Jewish moneylenders if we can. But in the meantime, we need to educate Doritos. Doritos, you can be... Uh, humility. Or something, I don't, I don't really know. Getting a little bit of, um, territory. Slowly but surely. What's our maximum army? Okay, so 1800. Great. What about these guys? What's their max? 1900. Shit. So if we attack them, we might actually need to, um... Hire some mercenaries. The cook had prepared a magnificent meal. With lots of delicious- different fruits, various kinds of meat, plenty of fresh-baked bread, and several mature cheeses. Uh, let's try to be temperate. 
Did we? We didn't. We failed. We failed at being temperate. Unacceptable. I could hear someone sneaking around inside and believed to be a burglar. When I went downstairs, I discovered Jez opening one of my letters. Sure, I guess he could gain some reading or whatever. Can I celebrate Ramadan anytime soon or... Okay, so I can't be hunting or doing any kind of like special activity. Great. What special activity am I doing? And why are we at war for Andalusia? What is this garbage? What's happening here? Is the Caliph actually straight up just trying to attack us? What the hell, Abbasids? Why are you way over there? Very bizarre. I have no idea what's going on. Thankfully, we're winning. So that's good. Yay? Now, who else can we attack? Salamanca? 802. You look like a soft piece of meat that I would like to digest. That sounded very wrong. Never mind. Can we do it? I think we can. As long as he doesn't bring in any more reinforcements or whatever, I think we should be okay to attack him. Just get all our troops. Just converge all of them. And we're going to be attacking them in planes or hills. I prefer planes. If you had a choice here. But can we hire some mercenaries? Let's do it. Let's get a mercenary in here. And then get to the Bizzo. Now, if you could get in here a little faster. We'll just use you for this one battle and then just you dispose of you. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Thank you for, I guess, increasing my levy reinforcement rate or something? I didn't actually read that. I'm assuming it's one of those. Oh, we're already at 74%. This is going awesomely. 75%? Fantastic. Can we... Assault this? I think we can. Yeah. Took a fair bit of uh, casualties here, but... Oh well. Should be okay. 97%? And we can just siege this down, I think, we don't, without needing to assault it. Because it's only going to take a couple more days. And there we go, fantastic, 100%. Love... Lee. So that one's mine, but this isn't mine, like what, what's up with that? Now, uh, I can't do this because then it's viewed as being tyrannical, so um... Okay, can we maybe get you killed? Anybody here want to join in on this fun and uh, kill a little child? If you say yes, you are in fact uh, sick in the head. Probably need to get yourself checked out because you shouldn't be going around killing children. That being said, it's all for a strategic value. Which means it's okay, right? You, I want you to be... All about thrift. Jez? Ah, uh, Jez, why did you turn out to be this way? Fussy? Uh, mm. Affectionate? Shit. Jez, why? Why did you do this? You know what? Should we try it? We should tr we're going to try Marshall anyways. It might not go so well. But we'll see how it all ends up. Ah, oh, jeez. I, I get a bad feeling about it. Introduce the heir to the realm. Let's do it. You have invited your vassals to partake in a formal ex introduction of your heir, Jez. He will have to exchange many pleasantries and act in a very formal way. Something that might be tiresome for someone as young as him. However, you have full confidence that he will not disappoint you. They will be here soon. Fantastic. Can we do Ramadan yet, or...? Okay, we need more money, apparently. Jeez, it's one thing or another, eh? 
Wally Saiban of Cuidad Rodrigo is a renowned, godly, and learned vassal of yours. After having introduced himself to Jez, Saiban approaches you with an offer. Saiban Shaiba, Shaiban is willing to spend some time teaching him. Sure, I guess. Getting some learning. I don't really give a rat's ass. And besides, you're not really going to be able to do much with that one um, favor. And I keep forgetting to lower my levies and vassal levies and whatnot. My levies. That's all they're called, right? They're called levies? I keep forgetting because I've been so long. As Jez introduces himself to Wally Shaiban of Cuidad Rodrigo, he not only presents himself with grace, but also manages to impress Shaiban by skillfully complimenting him. Well, wow, wow, wee wow. Good job, buddy. And apparently he then goes on to insult someone else and spill his drink all over his testicles. Not his own testicles, but the testicles of the other guy. And it's like really cold. So at first it feels like it's hot. If any guy is out there who has had a cold drink spilled onto his te testicle can attest. At first it feels like, oh god, something hot just landed on my balls. But in fact it turned out to be so cold that it felt hot for a second. Anyways, while having a pleasant conversation, you are suddenly interrupted by an infernal ruckus. Upon further investigation, it seems as if Jez has gotten into a fight with a child of one of the visiting vassals. You tear the two children apart, but it appears that Jez and Ubayad, Ubaid Ibn Shaiban will not ever be friends after this encounter. Well, I have a simple solution to that. <laughs> Who started it? Who cares? Anyways, that's going to have to be it for this episode as we're currently out of time, but we'll see you guys in the next one for some more Crusader Kings 2. So thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.